Jay and today I'm here with a review for Carval by Stephanie Garner. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely adored it. So without further ado, let us get started. So this book follows Scarlett Drogna and her little sister Tella who have always dreamed of escaping their little island and cruel father. An invitation arrives one day inviting them to join Caraval, which is a once in a year performance where the audience is actually able to participate in the game. With the help of a mysterious sailor, the two sisters set off in hopes of winning a wish from Legend who is the ringleader of Caraval. Upon arriving, Tella is kidnapped and that's when it is discovered that the challenge for this year's Carval is to find Tella before it's too late. I saw a lot of mixed reviews for this book when it was first released so I was very hesitant picking it up and I didn't have very high expectations for it but then my mom ended up picking it up and she said that I would absolutely love it and that I needed to read it and I am so glad that I finally listened. The book was so magical and it instantly became one of my favorites of the year. I cannot wait to pick up Legendary and Finale when I finally get around to it. I'm honestly shocked that this is a debut novel because it does not feel like one at all. The writing is so immersive and you feel like you're running along through Carval with Julian and Scarlett. It was just so easy to picture everything that the author was writing in your mind so vividly. I honestly was hooked on this story right from the first page. I needed to keep reading so I could figure out what was going to happen next. I loved the mystery of this book. I was so invested in the story right from the beginning, like I said. I loved how we learned about the rules of Carval along with Scarlet. I was never quite sure what was real, what was true, and what was actually just part of the game. And I think that the characters were also just a huge highlight of this book for me. I was so invested in every single one of them and their relationships. The relationship between Tella and Scarlet and the sisterly love between them was just so good. I really, really loved it and you could tell that they both really wanted to protect each other at all costs. I did really like Scarlet as a main character. I think that she was not only fierce but also very intelligent at the same time. At times I will admit that she did rush into some situations without really thinking. The only thing she thought about was saving Tella and that got her into a little bit of a mess sometimes but for the most part I do think that she was able to think level-headedly and solve the clues that were left for her. I also really like Tella as a character and I'm really excited to pick up Legendary because I believe that it follows her instead of Scarlet so I'm really interested to see more about her and her story. Julian, my absolute favorite. I adore him so much. I could never tell whether or not I was rooting for him or if I wanted to push him off a cliff. It was a roller coaster of emotions. I loved the mystery behind his character and finding out more and more about him as the story progressed. I'm definitely intrigued, fully invested in him, need him more in the second book, but not sure if that's going to happen because it's following Tella, but I'm here for him. The one big complaint that I do have about this book was the insta-love. I'm not a fan of insta-love, but I did like the slight enemies to lovers aspect of it. I am also so intrigued by Legend and I need to know more about him. I really, really hope that we get more of him in the second book. I feel like we will since it's called Legendary, but hopefully we learn more about him. I hated Scarlet and Tella's father with a passion. He was so cruel and just not a good person, which like obviously is the point. I really like the resolution in the end with his story, but not a fan. I am just dying to finally pick up the second and third books. I actually have them now, so I'm really excited to actually read them, but I am so invested in this story and these characters, and if anything happens to my babies, I will riot. So, Stephanie Garber, if you're watching this, I hope that you didn't hurt them because we're gonna have a problem then. Alright guys, so that was my review for Carval by Stephanie Garber. Let me know down below if you guys have read this book and what you thought of it. Hopefully you like it as much as I do, but I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!